And we're live. Hi everyone, this is Amtskimmer, and I'll be with Battle for West Knot. So now I'm gonna move on to Under the Burning Sun. In the in the distant future, a small band of elves struggle to survive amidst the ruins of fallen empires. Lead your people out of the desert on an epic journey to find a new home. It said elves, but when I look at these, it looks I mean, they could be different models, but it's a different race altogether. No, this campaign is probably not appropriate for beginners. It changes certain West North standards, such as elf stats and the day or night cycle. This campaign emphasizes role playing elements and tends to have longer scenarios with objectives that change in the middle. For these reasons, we strongly suggest that you occasionally save your game mid scenario so you won't lose all your progress if you get stuck and have to start over. Oh, I do a lot of saving, you don't have to worry. This is a chronicle of the journey of the Kranoth Elves from their homeland in the Great Southern Desert. I write the story so that our descendants may know of our travels, remember the sacrifices we made, and profit from the hard lessons we learned. Chapter 1 I, Kale, grew up amid the shifting sands under our two sons, Sela and Nea. It was a land of hot dry days and cold nights, of roaming horrors, for water was more valuable than gold. We had lived among the sand ever since the forest fell uncounted years ago. It was a hard and savage land, but we were tougher still, and we managed to survive settled around one of the rare oases. We had heavily fortified our village against marauders and were the largest encampment we knew of. My uncle, Tenuel, led us for many years and trained us to be self-sufficient and strong against all enemies. A people struggling in an ocean of sand, we thought we were ready for anything. All that changed one fateful night when the sky rained fire. I remember that night as if it were yesterday. I was not prone to dreaming, but as I slept, I had a strange vision. I didn't have long to ponder it though because I was woken in the dark by the sound of deafening crashes. Splintering wood and shouting elves. That night, the sky rained flaming rocks, boulders bigger than you could imagine. They sm they smote the landscape like lightning bolts, setting fire to whatever could burn and crushing houses, walls, and elves. There was nowhere to hide, nowhere to go for protection. I was terribly afraid, and I thought that I, if I tried to flee, I would be smashed, so I hid and prayed to Elo. I had never prayed before as fervently as I did that night. I heard cries and screams outside, but I could not force myself to move. Eventually, the thin yellow tendrils of a sickly dawn stole over the horizon, as if Nea herself were shocked by the devastation she saw. Hey, Kelly, are you in there? Naim, is that you? Yes, come out already. The storm has passed. With the morning light, Nea has ended the terrible night. Has the sky really stopped falling? I already told you, the sky is clear and empty. Now come quickly. Silly, others may need our help. What happened? Oh, hello. The craters are everywhere. Everything is gone, ruined. I can hardly recognize our village. I didn't think it would be this bad. Come on, Kelly. We have to go see if anyone is hurt or needs help. I think I hear people calling from the south. Now is not... A time for fear. We must be strong. After all, you are the nephew of Tenui, our leader, and you must answer the call of duty. Perhaps in the light of day, things won't be as bad as you think. Let's explore the village and see who else has survived the night. Wait, our keep is just to the east. Our leader, Tenui, must surely be recruiting others to help deal with the devastation. Perhaps we should go to the keep before we explore the rest of the village. Rescue surviving elves. Oh, yeah, this is uh, first dawn, first morning, midday, afternoon, dusk, short dusk, dawn, morning, midday, long dark. Huh, and look at the t turn number. Is there anything else I should be aware of? No gold carryover. I don't get gold, period, unless they're not loyal. Kelly, Nim, help us. What 
in Uriah's name is that. It came from the stones that fell from the sky. I know not what they are, but more seem to be emerging from the craters. If we don't stop them, there will be nothing left of our village or our people. The battle, my friends, there are still those left who can fight. Okay, mud crawlers are. Wait, there. Uh, I don't like these. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's impact. Wait, I thought these guys don't have melee attacks. Okay. I probably shouldn't have stopped in the dirt. Oh, this is. You go heal up. Um. Really? Oh, come on. So we kill that thing. Is a Tarek Rider. What, what does Trample do? Oh, the name is Trample. It's not a special. Sorry, I, I've I've played games where Is it just me or does that sound like a cow? Oh, resilient. You are terrible. Oh, those are remains. Oh, that's dark. <laughs> I should probably stick together. That would probably be a good idea. More of these mud crawlers. Let's get rid of them with haste. So apparently we fight well on sand. Oh no, they're just... Oh right, they're level 0, so they don't... And that definitely sounds like a cow. Okay, intelligent... Wait, what? Let's engage. But this unit doesn't move before attacking, or retain its moon points. Oh, that's very useful. I am glad I'm getting quite a few units, but let's actually heal you up. LA I think you're more dangerous especially if we can't hit you reliably Good, we're finally getting some As much as I want to farm Experience I mean something the game is just like, yeah, just
Okay, minus. Oh, yeah, I should probably read this. Uh, day plus 25, night. Okay. They're neutral. Thank you. At least you managed to. Be careful not to trigger. Oh god. This is our training ground. And look, there is Garrick, the captain of the guard. He and his fighters have survived the night. But they are fighting many mud creatures. Quick, we must help them. Loyal. Oh, okay. I need to keep them alive. Did I have to keep all of them alive? And we just have to make sure Carrick. Probably want more defensive. It feels seems strangely vacant. Where are the dust box? Maybe they're hiding in the stables. Let's go check. Okay, that's... Okay, that was way too close for you, my friend. Um... This bridge leads to the holy island at the center of our lake. Hmm, some of the druids that worship on the island may still be alive. We should go check. Be careful, the bridge is broken, so we'll have to wade through the shallow water. Oh, that is not good. That is not good at all. Yeah, these creatures are not easy to your use. I'm like, let's try to kill one of them. Otherwise, but you're still alive. I try to keep as many of them alive. Wherever possible. Oh, heal up. I don't know how... I don't time, um... If RNG is a bit more, I don't know, favorable. Don't like whoa wow you missed all of those Ugh. okay at least you got the kill but now you could die from Oh, that is lucky me. Okay, you have 10. Ha, they destroyed that last. Thanks for the help. I'm glad to see that so many have survived the night, but there's no time to talk. We must save the rest of our people or crush these 
earthen abominations. We don't have close to enough villages. Heal all of our units. We are so close to leveling. See, that's the thing. I don't want to trigger more of the. I don't think I'm given much of a choice. All right. Some of them. I will probably have to sacrifice the great tree. It has been buried under the rocks, our most holy sanctuary, defiled. Oh, hello. What shall we do? Is anyone still alive? Finally, we're worried that no one else has survived. Or their priestess. Are you all right? No time to stand on ceremony. I'm fine. I'm afraid only a few of us survived, but we will lend you what skills we have. Show me to those who use healing. The great tree has been destroyed. All things in this world come to an end, but the power of low endures. A new one shall grow in this place. Come now. Let us see to the needs of our people. Oh, that is exactly. What in the... What name is that? I feel great darkness in this lake, but I knew not what it was. The falling rocks must have woken it from its sleep. Protect the priestess. We shall send this monstrosity back to the death they came from. Oh. Okay, that's good. Uh, filling my units up. Yeah, I'm terrified of like, but yeah, I, I definitely very much need those healers. Otherwise, try to get to villages just ain't realistic. This place reeks of death. I can smell it from miles away. Oh, how I love it. It is the smell of power. The inevitable triumph of death over life. PDLs, I shall use the corpses of your families to create an army of undead. All shall bow down before Sentos the Necromancer. Timing couldn't be worse. I know that undead cultists often prey on small targets, but they haven't had the guts to attack us for years. Why has a low heap so much misfortune upon us? Have some more faith, girl. The goddess does not send us more than we can handle. With Elo's grace, we shall yet try it over this pretender. Bah, I fought these dark cultists before. They can be killed just like anyone else, and our riders can easily defeat their skeleton armies. I've heard of your kind, fellow necromancer. You travel the sands there to bring back and enslave those who have passed on. But we will prove to you that death is not all powerful. You shall not desecrate the bodies of my kith and kin. You shall learn to fear the wrath of Elo and the Predot Elves. Okay. Good. That is a key first step. I will leave you there. Even for healing is something, so I will. T the safe to come out? I was so scared. Where are all the other dust box? A hunting party left just yesterday, so unless the rocks fell all over the world, many of the dust box I probably survived. The few that remained here were scared by the falling rocks that fled into the night. It took all my skills to calm Yassi and keep him from running. 
We'll need your help in checking to see if other settlements survive. Who knows what kind of damage they suffer in the night. Perhaps some of the people out there in the desert have been able to rattle up some of the loose dust. We can only hope that a hunting party returns soon. Yeah, these are the el elder settlement. Hey, listen, the rocks have stopped falling. You can come out now. Oh, thank you, Lo. I thought they would never stop. Wait, sorry. I want to check status. So we have monsters and we have... Go up some more. Man, I'm... I will take some time. I don't ever have enough time, that's the thing. I don't know what else is expected. Oh good, some elves have survived in this Elder Seventh Omen. They agreed to help us search for other survivors. The encampment is empty. I wonder what happened to the inhabitants. Okay, then we need to search these as well. Oh, you don't spot there. Hey, healing for four is better than healing. I would take it. I haven't seen any undead yet. A little worry. Tenorous Keep, our beautiful fortress. It is destroyed. How will we summon our people to battle? We must rally those survivors we find we can find amidst the rubble. It doesn't look like anyone survived. At least we can th think although it was a quick death. Oh well, come on, we can't dwell on the dead. We must help the living. But Tenoy is dead, who will lead us? That's a question for another time. Let's keep exploring the wreckage. I mean, it's not like I have gold to... Am I supposed to move on to the rebels? Rebels? Rebels. You have full health. I... I don't know. It's a misclick something. Okay, so... Am I supposed to move on to this? Okay, we found bats. We'll circle around. I will need the rider to fight against the undead. Oh yeah, we are. Wow. We're pretty. Oh, ghouls are a different matter. Man, this shaman is just so important. Yeah, I've, I've never used the race that's like... Oh no! Okay, the Saurians are good on sand, but... At the same time... I didn't actually get to use...
let's keep exploring. Seems like there are more settlements. And it does say rescue surviving elves, so we're not done the surviving part. Not yet, at least. Kill it. And we need to deal with their vanguard first. Wait, are you full? A thousand? Well, I guess he is level three. It's formation and teaching. Uh, I will look in a moment what those actually do. Okay, they have a fairly sizable force there. But if we have... Our mobile healing... Should be fine. Move you too far to the... Yeah, I, yeah, I think Sorens were good on, uh, but you're not full health. Or, but where's my other them safe? Hail, is anyone still alive? Yes, and we could certainly use your help. A necromancer has been attacking us. He intends to use our fallen comrades as father for his evil magic. Where have you been? We were out far in the sand, searching for prey and roaming orcs. As soon as we saw the rock storm, we raced back as fast as we could. I only wish we could have come sooner. No use crying over spilt water, but we're sure glad you're here now. Wow, that's impressive. Um, yeah, we have a lot of fools against the undead. This encampment has been abandoned. There are signs of a struggle and a few bloodstains, but nothing else. I fear for those elves who live out here. I'm glad there's no uh, early go bonus because I am not going to do well in that category. Okay, where's our... I mean, if possible, I want them... Wait, days? Man, there's just so much to learn. Advance to Sunslinger or Shaman. Days. When hit with this attack, the enemy suffers a 10% bonus both to the defense and chance to hit in one turn. For one turn. Other specials that affect chance to hit, magical and marksman, take precedence over this special. Okay. Probably back up. Set up a defensive position. I will want to fight them during the day, but right now, position wise, we are kind of meh. Let's pull you back. No use losing you if I don't have to. Okay. 
Shouldn't be able. Shouldn't. I had a feeling you were gonna arrive here. Finish it off. Oh, 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 I love these. <laughs> what should our victorious unit become? Warrior, hunter, relief. I feel like it's. Always so nice, but we definitely need because I forgot to check. But I don't think he has formation. Ten percent bonus to defense when another unit with the same ability is adjacent to it. However, this cannot raise the unit's defense above seven. Oh, okay. Right now we should. Punish them hard. Oh, that's where their leader is at? Okay. Yeah, if we can finish off these units quickly, then... Oh good, some elves have survived this elder settlement. They agreed to help us search for other survivors. You guys are not very stellar. But we want to upgrade you if possible. Maybe I'm a little too cautious. I didn't realize how close I was to there. Yeah, come a little closer and we'll give you a proper welcome. That was reserved only for undead. Wait, I just realized. Stupid. Yeah, like. Um, I think I do want to clear out more of these enemies before I try anything. Oh, okay, good. Siles has survived. There are more? Okay, some else. I mean, these villagers are gone, right? Eh, I mean, they might still be tied to something. But anyways, uh, we need to address you. But you don't need more experience. Yeah, their slow mobility is... Where's our youth? <laughs> Wrong one! I wanted to... Yeah, you were the one. Whoops. Oh, too late now. Uh, okay, so... I said to be careful. The good thing is that we have far superior maneuverability. Bad thing is we are on a timer, so I can't like auto too long.
Oh, that would be scary. Don't have that much out to work with. Okay, you heal up. You support. Really, you were close enough to... Is that too dangerous? Uh... Let's make a save in case I totally regret this. Oh, you only have melee attacks, okay. That's not good. That's good. Okay, uh, yeah, this is tricky. Excellent. You two. Ten out of, okay. Where's our... Main healer, okay. Yeah, we have too many units. Maintaining a proper formation is Exceptionally difficult. Oh, come on. Really, guys? Some of our people feel crowded in the village and wanted to live out in the open sand. They thought they could flee to the safety of our walls if danger came. I shudder to imagine what may have become of them. Will he come out? The only villages I know that are left are those uh, currently controlled by the undead. I'm glad you survived. That was a lot closer than I would have preferred, but... Wait, can you level up? I'm gonna kill here? I'm not accepting that. 70% all those misses? Yeah, hell no. Uh, But let's see, is there a better way to do Oh, I left the ship. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I better level another one of them up then. <laughs> Sounds so weird. Uh, that's not a good use. Well, I mean, that's one way to... Cute.
And we need to level one of you up, otherwise... Ugh, that's awful. Yeah, that was such a stupid mistake. If we get to your village, it should be okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. You hit it. Okay, still not enough for that level up. Go there. Anything up here in the corner? I'm mostly worried about like stalling too long. The poison is a problem, but luckily there are villages around here, so it should be mostly. Fun. Oh, right, you can still... Okay, yeah, I was like, what do you mean I, I attacked this? Then it's like, ah, yes. Okay, speak of which, uh, you... All right, you're poisoned, but we have no way of... I mean, they're... No! No! Oh, yeah, that... That was bad, losing two of them. And one of them was almost promoted too. That was really bad. Oh god, that is... Um... So... How do we do? We need to get you a level. Yeah, failing to take those out is Six. I do hit both of those. All right, I can move you. Somewhere here. Move you onto that village. Okay. Um Finish it off. Good. Okay, close to leveling up. That's probably my top priority. Good. We got kills on there. Uh, you can back off there. Grab that village. Yeah, losing two of those suck, but also so damn squishy. I'm not surprised. 
And plus, they only have 50%. Uh, I probably don't want to level you guys up right now. Plus, it is night time. So. I'm like, don't get yourself killed. I need... But, thanks for... Okay, either a shaman or... Okay, yeah, one does more damage and one... I, I need more healers. Because we get into that same situation. Trying to get you more experience. Yeah. Killing the Necromancer will be quite challenging. Okay, you are... Okay. Leveled up, so that's good. We have another one that needs leveling up. But I wonder if I want to get you to the next level You have a chance? Yes. That wasn't enough to level up, but... Okay, that's out of your range. Ooh, that's very good. Uh, let's nab that. Nab this. Which I can't tell, <laughs> otherwise I'm like... I guess it doesn't make it more challenging. Are there more to be rescued? I'm... I'm a little unsure. Yeah, without the healers, like it, it would have been exceptionally tough. That's a mountain. <laughs> okay, their leader has come out now. Did I just say plus two experience? Like what? Okay, so... That's the wrong one! <laughs> well, I guess you're leveling up sooner. Um... Man, you are terrible. You might get the kill. Oh no, that's the right one. Whoops. No, oh, I thought that was wrong. Um, let's trap him. Nineteen. I don't want it to be over yet. We have not very squishy. Is it bad that I hope that he misses one of his attacks? Okay, that's fine. Glad I got two shamans now. That's a pretty key. Is there any other villages? No, okay.
Wow, that that went really well. Yeah, you're not gonna win against the healer. I have all the villages. I hope I don't lose another unit. Okay, so uh, I need experience. Can you kill? Probably not. Go back, you guys. You guys are terrible. Seriously. Um. Do I have to land all of them? Might die. Yeah, right now you don't do crazy amounts of damage, so fine. Okay, I need to get you this kill. Okay, so we have a leader. I don't think I should have two leaders. So having a hunter. So cool, honestly. The hunter. So who should get this kill? That's a good question. Um, I actually don't know. Be nice to give you this. I feel like they'll have opportunities later. Oh, I need to do it. Yeah, no. Let's see what happens. Necromancer is finally vanquished. And at last the dead shall have the rest. Pathfinder or Archer? More slows would actually not be a bad thing. Huh, the Archer is interesting because they actually lose their uh, impact. If we face undead against some other enemies. This other. So let's read about it. Uh, Pathfinder. In times past, turning and fleeing for an engagement was a risky tactic, but there were few means to avoid or block enemy archers shooting from behind. In the desert, however, unstable footing and lack of cover make it far more challenging for most fighters to strike from range. The loser Pathfinder make use of this by riding the exceptionally agile Dustbucks, who are highly adapted to traversing the dunes that can evade most attacks with their swift movements. The difficulty of pitting these riders down often tries the patience of their enemies, who are provoked into recklessly giving chase, inevitably into many a deadly traps. Move either or after attacking, able to slow. I mean, it's mostly the slow. Then for the archer, but the open sets providing much less protection than the old forest did, the white ranks of the elvish archers that was formed. The core of the elvish military have all but disappeared. Instead, the few who still dedicate themselves to the traditional weapon of their ancestors practice the art for the saddle, allowing them to more easily avoid the perils of com uh, melee combat. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna go for that one. It seems that we finally have some peace, but what do we do now? Where is Tanui and his family? The keep has been crushed by the rocks. We could find no survivors. Too many have died this night. Our village is in ruin. The walls that were built by our ancestors over generations have been demolished in a space of hours. Most of our dwellings are destroyed and the great tree itself is no more. One thing is obvious. We cannot stay here. You're a fool to despair. 
This has always been our home. The water here is good. We know this land. We can rebuild it. A little willing, we can thrive again. Think for a moment. Who else has seen the rock storm? What other foes are coming to pick over the remains of our people? There is no mercy in the desert. And we have many enemies who will seek to gain in our time of weakness. Impudent girl. You should not ask. You should not speak so to your elders or to your brothers. I have a right to speak my mind. Peace. Please calm yourself. In chaos, there is nothing but death and destruction. Even in this time of trial, we must show our fortitude. Follow our laws. Without laws, we are like beasts in the desert, fighting over scraps of meat. Among the survivors, Kale is by heritage the closest relative to Tanui and thus our leader. What say you, Kale? Last night, before the rock storm, I heard a voice in my sleep. It sounded like sweet music, and somehow I knew it was a low. I still remember her exact words. You must be strong, young elf, for you enter a time of peril. The home you know will be destroyed, and you must lead your people to a new land. To the north you will find salvation and peace. Cross the desert head to the mountains. Fear not, for I will guide you and protect you. I'm not sure why I'm the one she chose to appeal to, you, but if this is her will, I will see it done. Our home is gone and the desert is a harsh place. If Alo has prepared a new home for us, then I will lead us there. I fear what danger leaks in the harsh sands and beyond the north, but because you are our leader, I will follow where you go. And let us collect what supplies we can from the wreckage and head north with great haste. Our home is protection no more. We must find a new haven for our people. What about the bodies of the dead? We can't leave them to be torn by crows or desecrated by other dark mages. I agree. We should not forget our dead. We should build a huge pyre and burn them with a the proper ceremony, so that the smoke may carry them on to the next realm. Kale, I don't want to tarry longer than necessary, but I agree that we must see to the dead before we leave. Eric, you and your men start collecting our dead. Naim, help me find oil and wood so we may build a pyre. And so it's done. The dead were laid reverently on top of what little wood we could find. But the fire was big enough to burn the body to ashes and speed their souls to the hereafter. I remember at the time that the death of so many of our people was not the best omen for the start of such a large journey. They were the first of our people to die in this great endeavor, but they were to be far from the last. Minus 20. I don't know if I could have managed it better. Chapter 2. When I was 15, I went on my first raid against an orcish incursion to the west. A large band of orcs under some new banner has come out of the northern foothills and were rampaging across the sand, killing everything they could get their filthy hands on. Sneaking among the dunes, we crept up to the camp and ambushed them at dawn. To a young man, the fighting was overwhelming. Crashing blades, blood, battle cries, friends and foes struggling back and forth. The orcs rallied around their leader and slew him. Wait, the, the orcs rallied around their leader, their greater numbers counter a superior skill at combat. It was my father who finally fought his way to the foul orc leader and slew him on the bloodstained sands. The survivor orcs broke and fled from the battlefield to be hunted down, slain as individuals and small groups by our trackers. It seemed a glorious victory, and I hardly noticed our. Elven brethren lying dead in the sand. I was giddy on the journey back home, my heart thumping with elation and pride. I have fought my first battle, now I was a man like my father. Then one night during the long dark a harsh wind came up, moaning and howling around our tents. By dawn it had only gotten worse. I wonder if some dark god was trying to avenge the massacre of the orcs. I'd seen sandstorms before, but I had never experienced one like this. I hid in my tent, praying to a load as if my life depended on it. The air grew thick with sand and everything grew dark and hazy. The next thing I remember, someone was bending over me, shaking me awake. I was half buried in sand and I felt weak but alive. Our equipment was scattered across the dunes and buried in the sand. Looking around, I only saw a few of my companions who were digging in the sand, fervently hoping to find other survivors. I dug furiously at the sand with my bare hands and yelled, and yelled until I was hoarse, but try as I might, I could not find my father. They told me he had been swallowed by the sand, and I could not be consoled. In one instant, my world crumbled. I never looked at the sands quite the same way again. I learned that day that the desert can be fickle and fierce, and death is always lurking just over the horizon.
Now I journey out again across the sands, but this time it was not just myself, but my entire people that I had to protect. They were depending on my judgment, and I was too aware of the weight on my narrow shoulders. Thinking of the last time we had gone down in force, I made a silent prayer to my father to watch over us. There was nowhere to go but north. I've crossed these sands long ago when I was a youth, and we went on a great raid against a foul necromancer who was hiding out in one of the ruins, creating an army of undead. It was a nasty battle, especially after nightfall, but all his magics couldn't save him when we cut off his head. Ah, uh, those were the days. Do you remember anything about these sands? Do you see that brown spot sticking up on the northern horizon? That's Pinnacle Rock. It's the highest land for miles around and has a spring at its base. Or did the last time I camped there. If we make it to Pinnacle Rock, we will be just a few miles from the edge of the mountains. But between here and there is a particularly barren stretch of sand. With only a few oases and watering holes. Luckily, I think there used to be an old caravan route leading north, which went from oasis to oasis. The oasis aren't easy to find, but occasionally the sand blow away, revealing old stone roads that lead from oasis to oasis. Once the path must be formed, a great thoroughfare for commerce. I believe that there was once a great empire in these lands long ago, before the sands came. I've seen the ancient remains of stone castles and markers in the sand. The paths of the ancient may serve us yet again. If we follow the paths from the oasis to oasis, we may be able to survive the thirst and heat of the desert. But there are worse dangers in these sands than thirst. We must be wary and scout our way carefully. Unfortunately, because of our hasty flight from our village, we are short on water skins and rations. We'll have enough if we move quickly and eat as little as possible, but we won't last long in the waste if we can't find more sources of water. As it is, between the heat of the day and the cold of the night, this journey will be hard on our people. During the daytime, at the beginning of your turn, every unit in the sand, road, rubble, or sand dune hex will suffer from thirst. Each turn of thirst reduces a unit attack damage and causes three hit points of damage. Healers can prevent dehydration from becoming worse, but cannot heal it. Only by refreshing at the oasis any water hex. At the start of your turn, will your unit regain full attack strain. Kelly, be careful you don't recruit too many guards to go with us. I doubt we're going to find any other villages out in the sand. So the income that we have right now is all we were going to get. Remember that as our people get more experience, they often require more support. So we don't want to run out of supplies halfway across the desert. Well, the sooner we reach Pinnacle Rock, the better. Onwards. It's 62 turns? Oh my. Oh. Uh, must reach the northern edge of the desert. Four of the uh, unit refresh healers can prevent. Can't heal it. Healers are unable to heal adjacent units during the day. Oh. Oh, snap. That's really cool, actually. Whoever made this? Well, we're gonna do this next time. I mean, 62 stars. I don't even know if one episode will be enough, but we'll see. But, anyways, I am going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you have a good one.